hello viewers welcome to this exciting video in this video we will be looking at the november 2021 science paper 2 question b1 question b1 generally involves the change of state and it reads the following diagram shows the changes of state in the three states of matter the following diagram shows the changes of state in the three states of matter all right so the diagram shows that we have we have a liquid there uh, and the liquid through process b changes to solid and the solid through process c changes to gas and the liquid again through process a changes to gas okay all right so for this type of question what we need to do first is just look at the diagram and come up with uh, a slight mental image of what is happening quite all right uh, we've been given with the states they've clearly shown which one is liquid which one is solid and which one is gas and here it is now the processes that have been labeled using letters so when we look at first and foremost uh, before we even go to what the question wants us to 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 to, to what the examiner wants to find out from us it's it's better we actually uh, have a mental image of what is happening so we know that a liquid when a liquid changes to a solid so the liquid is changing to a solid and we know that when a liquid changes to a solid the process is called freezing okay when a liquid changes to a solid we know that the process is freezing so we know that here the process is freezing okay and we know that when a liquid changes to a gas this is called boiling okay and we know that when a solid changes to a gas directly without changing to a liquid this process is called sublimation So we have these three processes. Uh, if we now look at it, it means that process B is boiling, process, uh, process B is freezing, process A is boiling, and process C is a sublimation. Now, take note of one process here, okay? Sublimation. If this was the other way around, if it was the gas turning to a solid directly this would not have been sublimation but it would have been deposition okay long are the days when uh, the examiner used to accept sublimation as the process by which a gas changes direct to solid okay it is uh, now officially recognized as deposition and they've stopped accepting sublimation as uh, an answer to the change of state from solid from uh, gas directly to solid all right having this in mind we can now uh, look at uh, the questions that follow they are saying describe the arrangement of particles in solids describe the arrangement of particles in solids so solids are, are are the most unique why are they the most unique one because the particles cannot move from one place to another okay the only movement that can happen is they can only vibrate about their fixed positions okay the other thing is that the particles in solids are held together by very, very strong forces of attraction. Therefore, uh, 
the spaces between them, uh, there are literally no spaces between them. This leads to the solid being incompressible, almost incompressible. So what are they looking for? They are looking for one, uh, the amount of space between the particles and the general arrangement of the particles. So in solids, the particles are, are very closely packed in a regular pattern. So the particles are very closely packed uh, in a regular pattern. So uh, they are very closely packed in a regular pattern. Okay, so when you look at uh, 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 ionic or crystalline, they may even say in a regular array, in a regular array or lattice. All right, let's look at liquids. Now, in liquids, particles are a bit, they are free to move from one point to the other, but even with this movement, they can only move within the liquid. So, if the liquid particles can move going wherever they want within the liquid, it means they cannot be arranged in a regular pattern, but in a random. Because if we took a photo at any given point, you find the particle placed at, an, at a different point. And the spaces are not very closely packed, but they are closely packed. So the particles... are closely packed in a random pattern. All right, so that is it about uh, the arrangement of particles in solids eh, and liquids. If there was uh, if they wanted to ask us on the arrangement of particles in gases. Now, in gases, the particles are far apart. And because uh, they are far apart, they are randomly packed. So they can be wherever they want at any given point. So they are randomly packed and very far apart. All right. They are now, we now go to B1. B1 saying state the name of the change of state labeled A and B. State the name of the change of state labeled A and B. So let's come back. So we've already uh, uh, given ourselves a roadmap. So A, A we can see that it's boiling and B we can see that it's freezing. So A is boiling, B is freezing. Now, A sometimes is also called vaporization. And the reason why they, they opt to use vaporization is to remove the confusion between boiling and evaporation because both processes are changes of state from liquid to gas. So uh, sometimes they may say this is vaporization. Okay, so... We say A, A is boiling and B, B is freezing. All right, so A is boiling, B is freezing. Okay, we go to B2, B2. They are asking which change of state, A or B, is an exothermic process? Explain your answer. Which change of state, A or B, is an exothermic process? Explain your answer. Now, 
the key word first we need to understand is that one exothermic what does exothermic mean okay the first question i'll ask you the viewers is what is the function of the car exhaust pipe what is the function of the car's exhaust pipe all right if what you said was okay to get rid of the car's exhaust gas to get rid or to take away the exhaust gases from the car so exo means uh, losing to the environment losing exo losing to the environment now thermic comes from the word thermo meaning heat energy so exo giving out thermo heat energy so exothermic means the a process gives out heat so which process gives out heat or which process does heat uh, it, it, do we remove heat from that particular substance so they are saying which change of state a or b is an exothermic so in which process do we remove heat from the substance all right let's see. come to the diagram okay so now let's look at uh, these things for us to change a liquid to a gas what do we do we heat the substance and what is uh, heating it means we are giving giving the substance heat energy we are giving the substance hence we are taking in we are taking so the the, the substance the liquid needs to take in heat energy okay the substance is taking in heat energy so because the substance is taking in heat energy this one is said to be endo okay thermic endothermic so process a we will say this process because it is it is taking in taking in heat okay it's taking in heat therefore it is endo it's not exo exo means that the substance is losing we are removing heat from the substance now what is we now go to b what is freezing when we are freezing something we are removing we are removing heat from the substance we are removing heat from the substance so if the substance this removal means that the substance is losing okay heat energy therefore because it is giving the it is the substance giving away heat energy to the environment okay the substance is the one giving away uh, this process is exo because energy is being lost to the environment so process b is exothermic Process B is exothermic and process A is endothermic because heat energy is the substance is losing heat energy to the environment. Hence it is exothermic. Process A is endothermic because the substance is gaining heat energy from the environment. So our answer is B. Okay, so which change of state a or b is exothermic explain your answer so the change of state is b and the reason is that the substance is or the liquid let's try to be more specific 
okay the liquid is gaining heat energy from its environment okay so that is uh, that all right viewers this brings us to the end of this video if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe it is through your subscriptions that the channel continues to run and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up see you next time